The update details are here. Let's go through the patch real quickly. So we have the war against the serpent. Odin's brother who has uh, who gains power from the fear of mankind has begun. Fear itself. Let's go what we have here. So first of all we have Hulk fear itself uniform. It looks awesome of course. He's a combat super villain. Human male justice. Still has a justice tag which is awesome. Anyways uniform in fact which have the critical damage increased by 50%. 10% critical rate and 15% chain rate damage. Pretty awesome. Then and we have the tier 3 skill change that was most needed probably making him meta for this thing stun 80% chance to penetrate everything invincibility and a 60% all attack and defense buff that is huge huge plus it is uh, per HP so you need HP too for the attack so he still looks like HP beige which kind of sucks but we'll see how it goes later on we have physical damage of HP again so it is also depending on HP they have not changed uh, the the damage from the skills to attack which is kind of sad we have all allies 24% basic defense increase so pvp we have the passive hp goes below 99% 4% hp recovery and then when hp goes below 33% we have 60% of hp recovery for himself which is big so honestly pvp changes so yeah let's see how it goes super armor increase all basic defense as well again pvp and some skill damage bonus damage we have again HP, HP, so it's, it still looks like he's gonna be more PvP than PvE. We have stun, silence, paralyze on the second skill and remove all divas, which is nice. Fracture 50% of max HP, so much HP, and then we also have increased basic, basic damage, dealt uh, basically increase 1% accumulation each 1% of HP. So HP, HP, HP. We have the fourth skill having the ignore targeting, paralyze, stun, 33 chance to penetrate everything, invincibility, and 100% proc. Again, depending on the HP. And the fifth skill has burn. So he has silence, paralyze as well as burn. But everything is stupidly freaking based on <laughs> HP. <laughs> Anyways, Juggernaut. Finally a mutant getting something. We have 30% of max HP recovery, 30% ignore defense and the skill damage bonus damage which is nice. Passive, uh, now super armor and basic defense 20% and decrease basic damage received 40%. PvP again, tier 2 passive, when, whenever your HP goes 99% below, 5% HP recovery every second which is awesome. Then we have uh, the effect when it goes uh, under 40% he also gets a swapping 60% all attack buff which is really really good plus that all crazy frenzy buff which is I like it man we also have the remove all divas which it helps stun which is nice stun fracture and invincibility that is nice uh, only two seconds though he has silence here 100% chance to immune to all damage 10% increase of all attack based on the accumulation so it looks like damage accumulation of course damage received just like before although now it's on the third skill instead of the second skill right now it's on second skill fourth skill has ignore targeting incapacitation paralyzed 30% of max HP recovery 50% all defense and increment so many buffs looks awesome and the fifth skill has paralyzed so silence paralyzed invincibility hp recovery super armor a lot of stuff built in so it looks like a freaking pvp update dude I was really hoping for this character to shine really nicely in PvE, but we'll see. Titania finally gets something here. Then we have 50% physical attack goes up to 60% to combat type now, which is great on the super villain days. 30% accuracy of max HP, super armor or defense again, max HP, max HP, max HP. We have uh, allies with a strong ability. We have 25% all attack boost to them. Skill damage, bonus damage. We also have 45% ch uh, chance when hit we have 30 percent of max HP recovery v pad on the first skill second skill has nothing third skill has ignore targeting which is awesome and counter attack 70 percent chance to missing attack to enemies stun three per, uh, three seconds immunity we have the accumulation damaged uh, receive accumulation again just like uh, juggernaut we have burn paralyze as well as some all defense down 60 percent chance to penetrate everything and guard hits on the fourth skill and the fifth skill then has burn incapacitation and 50 percent of all basic attack increase so pretty nice buff again it looks like more of a pve plus pvp buff but the hp and all of these characters have really good recovery so i think they're going to be really good in uh, pvp for sure we have now absorbing man finally getting an upgrade it's been a long long time he really sucks outside of shadowlands but let's see what he does so 
33% of max HP recovery, 33% of your defense, and then 33% of ignore target dodge rate. Okay, 25% chain at damage, super armor, all defense increased by 40%, and then reflect physical attack, which is gonna be crucial in Alliance Conquest. We have guaranteed dodge rate 30%, we have all attack, all uh, defense increased by 50%, and the frenzy buff, which is nice on the tier 2 passive, applying automatically when you enter the battle, which is great. We have stun and 6% of max HP recovery on the first skill, paralyze and again 6% max HP recovery on the second skill. Third skill, all speed decrease, again 6% of max HP recovery on the th third skill. Fourth skill again has silence and 6% of max HP recovery and the fifth skill has 6% of max HP recovery. Every single skill has a 6% of max HP recovery. The first character to have all skills max HP recovery in the game. <laughs> what the fuck? What the heck are they doing with Absorbing Man, dude? He's gonna absorb so much. He's gonna be crazy, man. Uh, then we have uh, Juggernaut Transcendent skill, of course. Critical rate, critical damage, 70% chance to penetrate everything. Invincibility and the buff and the accumulation true damage. We have, uh, by the way, this accumulation, whenever you use a third skill, even if you get like, hit only once, it can be charged up to 100% just like Sharon Rogers, okay? Then we have Titania, again accumulation. And then we have uh, this guy, without the accumulation, well, he has so much HP increase. And then we have the remover debuff and the other buffs on this girl. And the transcend skill kind of looks like uh, this. So they come out. Of course, it's gonna do some awesome amount of damage. It looks like sort of reminds me of uh, maybe like Psylocke kind of uh, transcend skill where like they jump too much. Anyways, Hulk tier 4 overwhelming power. So whenever the striker skill is used, we have the increase the final damage dealt. Okay, uh, increase the final damage dealt by 200%. To the target with a higher max HP than the character. What the F? What? Uh, well, yeah, it will, I think, also work in all the content because, like, World Boss Legend, they have so much HP. It will be a lot more HP compared to the character's HP. In PvP, this could be a big, big issue because unless you are fighting someone higher HP than yours, uh, like, it's, it's weird. You need more HP. To deal more damage and stuff on the skills but you need less HP so you can do more damage on the tier 4 skill or with the tier 4 Hulk onto the enemy it's it's a bit weird but 200% is huge but yeah like I think it's gonna help out a lot of character a lot of players who are having low HP like uh, you know who don't have like all crafted cards who don't have like 70 80% HP on their cards this might help out a lot in PvP specifically Tamlin battle he might be able to kill but with the passive right here, I, I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to like hold his own like in the meta. He could, but man, it's gonna be situationally useful. It's not that much. Decrease the final damage received as well. I don't like if final damage received. Like what the heck final damage received? Like total damage after everything is applied, true damage and everything. It's weird. You know, uh, of course, you have to have the lower A max HP and higher max HP. Kind of weird tier 4 skill. Uh, it's like interesting, definitely different, but let's see. World Boss Legend Gore release and partial improvement. Let's see what we have. Gore will be released as World Boss Legend, which looks pretty nice. He has the Legend difficulty 4. World Boss Legend Gore will be progress difficulty going and complete stages, blah, blah, blah. So you have to complete uh, story mode uh, 8 3, the showdown. Of course, this is from the normal, not the ultimate. So you can clear that own three or more heroes above tier three or potential transcendence to unlock clear world boss challenge you have to clear mephisto ultron and um uh, null five times each to unlock this guy this bad boy and of course a mighty judgment will be the uh will be the best price if you can get it like getting those mighties from this thing is super super hard and that's the that's how you do. Clear the new world boss legend, go to acquire a report, search for potential points, tier 2, 3 and stuff, 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 blah, blah, blah. Of course, we have a special icon, the necro sword will be given, which is nice. Uh, and of course, we have the, you know, just, you have to just clear the 10th st stage for the, for like, first time. You get the special icon, which is nice. 
okay then we have you can see some of these stages the rewards seems to be the same those but let's see improvement had to be made to world boss legend in, in difficulty ultron duration of the reality stone attack that is used during the normal battle phase had been slightly decreased thank you so much it it wastes too much time the spinning speed of the time stone green attack is, that is used towards the heroes during the normal has been slightly decreased thank you so much less annoying ultron issues of heroes sometimes being moved with the mind stone yellow attack has been improved thank you so much issue of the display being awkward during the motion of some effect i'm not sure if that's going to be the case and time walk status being retained when your hero succeed in remove yep it has sometimes happened if you get hit and also you land the last blow to ultron the third blow and you know you you break that time warp thing you still get time warp you still stay time frozen right there for like 7 or 8 second which is kind of really annoying So thanks a lot. At least it will make him a little bit less annoying and save you some time. New artifact. We have the Hulk artifact, which gives you wow increase HP by twenty five percent and as well as point four percent of the additional instinct up to two hundred percent increase. So this is gonna help out. Twenty five percent HP is big, uh, which is nice. It's a level four, so we'll see about that. We have Titania. Ignore non boss energy uh, enemy damage decrease. Okay, so you will be able to do more damage in PvP because they are non-bosses. Juggernaut, uh, whenever your HP glows goes below forty percent, we have recovered for seventy percent of HP, which is awesome. And also, we have a max HP increase by seventy percent. Okay, that is big, big, big. Absorbing man getting a, a restores HP equals to five percent of reflect. So. The more reflect damage that you do to the enemy, the more HP you will be able to regain, which is awesome. Plus, all the six percent HP recoveries on all the five skills, which is kind of weird. New feature parts and stuff like that. You can find the icons and everything. You also have the oh, the Miles Morales icon. This looks pretty awesome. Look at that. And we have the Hulk man. The Hulk one looks good. The Hulk one looks good. The Necro Sword is a free from World Boss Legend Gore, and we have the Silver Surfer icon. Man, the Hulk and the Spidey looks really, really good. Here from collection, of course, getting you some M Grant shards. Are you kidding me? That sucks. And then we have some of these stuff as well. So. Uh, a future dismantle acquired artifact automatically when purchasing artifact chest will be added. This is good. Whenever you purchase the artifact chest, you have to manually go and dismantle one to two stars artifact, right? So we have the one to six star artifacts and exclusive artifacts. Uh, you can automatic dismantle it, but I will not say. Please don't dismantle these three to six stars. They are all useful. Only dismantle one to two stars and the bad three star ones. You know, so maybe you can just take it out. It will be a Just don't mistake. Don't make any mistakes. Look at that. Look at that. You can probably just do this. Anyways, that's weird. The item lock feature will be added to inventory rank of materials, which is nice. You can now lock up bios as well. Okay, that's kind of weird. Anyways, and then with the auto enhance and auto combine function, that can already combine items from desert rank lower grade and enhanced materials, where the rank will be added. And it's so stupid. You just can go auto enhance. It can help out sometimes. But it's more mainly for the type and instigate type and ends things. It can save you a little bit of time, but mainly I think you are going for like rank one, rank two characters. Other than that, you can just do it solo, like you know, doing that. The relay upgrade feature that can be added: comic cards. That is good. That is good. We can just uh, just press like one button and then done. You know, you don't really have to announce like uh, six times or five times tapping on the same thing over and over again, which is nice. Continue announcing. We have the archives. Uh, sorry, uh, the assistant review event tokens have been acquired since twelve. Twelve will be added. The terms you'll require in the main. Okay, the arts archive. So stupid, stupid. It's just the collection stuff, so that you can see, like, ooh, I, I've gotten all of these, you know, from all of those uh, past years. A pop-up screen, alliance point, and logo we gain through alliance donations. That is different, and of course, some more changes that you can actually do. That. If I got some heroes have been improved, not to be seen when the settings. Okay, so probably really nice changes. Actually, uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these. You can definitely ch uh, check. This stuff out. Uh, main stuff is the uniforms, the tier four, and the transcend awakened, uh, transcend potential skills. Artifacts are pretty nice. More, most of them are PVP based, but they will also help out in PVE. On the other hand, Hulk in the in with the uniform looks really, really, really strong, but the damage is still based on the HP, which I doubt that he will be able to be meta with because you will need a lot of HP, not the attack. 
for Hulk, and that was the big issue when Hulk actually was introduced with the with the uh, immortal Hulk uniform. But with the tier four, he might be a menace with specifically that two hundred percent damage dealt increase. But that's only for characters higher HP than yours, so it's kind of sad. We have God Barbos Legend coming, nothing special. Revolts, partial improvement. Seriously, I don't know partial improvement. I'm not sure how much materials we will be getting but that's all right transcend skill they look awesome all of these characters are great the first character do we have five skills with the six percent hp recovery absorbing man looks really good titania with a really good leadership and some really nice uh, rework changes and then we have this guy juggernaut which looks really 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 strong specifically pvp still and then hulk again PvP, but he might surprise with the new uniform in ABX as well. So we'll see how that rolls out. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think about and what your thoughts are on these new characters. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Overall, ah, pretty nice update actually.